Hello, in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a reflection or a mirror effect in the Film Express video editor for your video clip. So for example, we have this video clip of a turtle over here. Now if I want to make a mirror image of this, all you do is go to reflect, um, not re uh, reflections, go to effects, the effects tab, within the search box, look for reflect. And then uh, within the generation folder, you have the reflect effect. You can go ahead, left click, hold and drag that to your video clip. And now you have that reflection applied to the, your video clip. Now you have further um, applications or further configurations that you can do with the reflect effect. Uh, for the presets, you have from the bottom, which is the preset, I do believe. You have uh, side by side. You have side by side, but inverted. You have also uh, from the top, a top reflection like so and I hmm, I guess preset is just um, keeps whatever one you did from uh, before but anyways so those are the options that you have and so another thing is that you can also change the center position of the reflection so for example if I increase this by 100 pixels you don't see anything much if I increase this by 100 pixels then you see the, uh, an effect. So it depends. Um, so the center position affects the reflection depending on the uh, type of reflection you choose. Because I changed one value um, by 100 pixels and that did nothing. Because I have it, I think, uh, currently uh, by the top. So I can change this to 200 pixels. I can change this to 300 pixels. And so on until it, to it totally moves out of the frame and it looks like the original clip okay and if I don't have this applied you'll see that it just it is the original clip so you can manipulate the position of the reflection I do believe I can also put negative 100 uh, pixels but that would shift the video out of um, out of the viewing uh, window so I wouldn't recommend that so I'll go ahead and put that back to zero and you have the regular reflection so that is something you can manipulate uh, finally, you have the angle of the reflection. You can go ahead and change the angle. And it may be something desirable depending on the effect that you are trying to achieve. So here's a, a bit of an example of what you can do with um, uh, uh, keyframing with the reflections. So over here, I have set the position to negative 1020. So I kind of shifted um, uh, ha half of the reflection over. So you don't see the reflection. The center is currently over here. Now um, I'll go ahead and uh, enable the position keyframing over here for this video clip. I'm going to go ahead maybe after a couple of seconds. Go ahead and turn this to zero. And now it centers back to the center over here. The position goes back to the center, yes. And note that the preset currently is um, not top to top actually. It's uh, not side to side. Uh, it's uh, side to side inverted. There you go. That's what it is. Side to side inverted, uh, starting at a negative uh, 1020. Honestly, I can probably do like, um, you know, less than that, but this is fine. And it's uh, actually because um, when you think about full HD, it's actually 1920 by 1080. So maybe I'd, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, just keep that in mind. So that 1020 uh, number doesn't associate with this length the width length anyways anyways besides that so this uh, you know um, comes in like that another thing you can do is um, increase the angle and so for uh, for example maybe after a certain amount of time I want to um, make it rotate a couple of times with this uh, reflection so I can do it like five times maybe and so you would end up something like like this Although it doesn't look too good, honestly, maybe you, maybe uh, just decrease the rotations at this point. So I'll go ahead and delete this keyframe. Maybe I just won't want it to rotate twice. And you know how so some people use intros with things rotating in. So maybe it would be useful if you wanted to make a effect like that. Although it doesn't, it's kind of like a half rotation for each side if you put two clips together. Anyways, that's uh, um, what it is, and I'll show you how it looks.
So thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and, sub and subscribe to my channel. Bye.